Let's pick up where we left off yesterday with the definition of fascism. The process being orchestrated today by the Democrats in the United States of America is a perfect example of fascism. In an upcoming episode, we'll dig into the similarities and parallels of the Democrats' fascism of today with the fascism of the 19th century leading up to World War I and II. But I can assure you right now, the Biden crime family and their fourth branch of government, the bureaucratic state, working with their tech giants and the propaganda department of their communist organization, is mastering fascism like never before. Unfortunately, tens of millions of Americans can't see it, even as it stands right in the way of their prosperity. There have been many communist takeovers of governments using fascism since the communist beast thrust its plague on humanity when Marx and his delusional psychopath associates first wrote their make-believe fantasy novel. There has never been a more obvious and textbook execution of fascism in the history of government. And what do these communists do with all the money they steal from American citizens? With these tax increases, where are all those trillions of dollars? Dollars that have caused our money to lose value and caused the inflation we're suffering from today. First, they paid off their debt in democratic states that were financially bankrupt due to their idiotic communist policies. Then they paid off all their cronies, comrades, and commies in the unconstitutional bureaucratic state of Washington, D.C., all in the name of COVID, which they were responsible for funding and creating in the first place. Then they hid the truth from the American people and locked us down like criminals in our own country, like self-appointed strong-arm totalitarians. They stole our civil liberties and destroyed small businesses nationwide. And then they refused to allow people to get therapeutics and treatments that actually work to save lives against a biological weapon they helped create. Instead of going to prison for their crimes against humanity, they're partying like college frat brats with way too much money to throw around. You know, this whole mess could have been avoided if we would have stood up and said, Hell no, we will not be locked down. And you, representatives, work for us. Remember, it's in the Constitution. I think most of these politicians have never even read the Constitution and or have no idea what it means. Hell, Biden thinks our government is a democracy. We, the U.S. citizens, should have never given up our constitutional rights under any circumstance, and we must never do that again. And here's the worst of it. We could have removed these anti-American, anti-U.S. constitution, anti-child, anti-family, anti-God, and anti-reality traitors from the Congress just over a week ago. Like I laid it out in our last episode, the American citizen's path to victory. This is going to be a long journey, a long fight to win back our country, and I believe we must follow these two fundamental paths and build from there. There will be many more efforts that will simultaneously take action. But first, we must find a way to reach out to our woke folks and help them to see the truth that they are working for a system of socialist communism and has implemented a perfect takeover by way of their fascist plan. Socialist communism is a failed system that has proved to destroy entire countries every time it is implemented and has murdered over 100 million human beings just in the 1900s by way of the USSR, Nazi Germany, Mussolini's Italy, and many more. And that is the Biden regime's plan to destroy the U.S. Constitution and replace it with his version of a tyrannical democracy that he and his comrades will control. Forget about the freedoms you enjoy today. And it ain't a pretty unicorn running on batteries, flying through communities, handing out free woke food bars made from bugs with some flavor added from the comrades that didn't follow the rules of the king. That's part one. And we must demand part two of our fundamental plan to secure the vote. We'll get to more on that in an upcoming episode and much more on our patron site.
We must use every day to achieve what we can, each of us. We are in the fight of our lives to survive Biden and the communist he serves and the disastrous and evil policies he is achieving. And one of the reasons we failed to disembowel the evil Democrats by removing them from office during these recent midterm elections is because of the weak Republican leadership. That must be fixed. Heads need to roll, starting with McConnell and Ronna Romney McDaniel. How Ronna Romney McDaniel was ever put into the position of the leader of the Republican Party is a mystery to me, except that she and those that worked with her never intended for the Republicans to win. I could see it in her behavior and her pathetic rhetoric. She avoided every issue that would have won us the vote of rational Americans that know nothing about the perverse policies of the Democrats. It was so obvious to some of us. And then there is the job of those poor lost folk known as the woke. And that is our challenge. We will stand up and meet that challenge, but now it's time for a little break from all that stressful reality. Let's do what artists do. Let's put our imaginations to work. So close your eyes and take a deep breath in and out. Clear your minds from reality. It can't be that difficult. The woke folks do it every day. Let's not think about Biden and his edicts on day one of his installment as president or his kingly edicts that put us in the mess we're in economically, morally, and constitutionally. And let's not think about how we're back at war again. That would be too scary, right? It's scary when we declare war against another country. So they just don't do it anymore. But that's the job of the Congress. Instead of being honest with the American people, they created another mess just like they did in Vietnam. Except Russia is a nation that has enough nuclear weapons to destroy the world. Let me ask you a question. Do you think there should have been a conversation with the American citizens whether or not we should go to war with Russia? The Congress is ignoring their responsibility and they don't want you, the American citizen, to be involved in the decision, which is the exact opposite of how our constitutional republic was founded. So, they failed us again, just like they did in Vietnam, because the Congress should have declared war at that time against Vietnam for good reasons. But today, the Congress did it again by following the insane policies of King Biden, and now we are at war with Russia without a declaration of war, without the approval of the American citizen. Why? Because the American citizens would have rejected a declaration of war against Russia, especially when a solution was on the table and Biden rejected it. He wanted this war. Instead, the Democrats used their monopoly of the propaganda media to dupe the people into believing that suddenly Ukraine is a great and just country we should spend our blood and money on protecting. Just a few years back, everyone said that Ukraine was the most corrupt country in the world. Now suddenly they're saints, and Biden could have stopped this war before it began. But that's another story. We'll get to that in an upcoming special available on our Patreon channel. Get the whole story for as little as $1 per month, and you also get our new music, comedy, drama, and good old-fashioned storytelling. Join us tomorrow for part three of our Biden Inflation Special. To hear the full version of this show, please go to our website at www.standupfortheusa and sign up for our Patriot Newsletter and you'll get a 30-day free pass to our premier online product, only available to our patrons. You'll get full-length episodes and video excerpts of this show, as well as our roundtable discussions with special guests. And you can call into our live broadcast and join in the conversation yourself. 
You'll also get special music performances and interviews with some of the finest musicians in the country, as well as our hysterical new comedy shows. And we'll get you the information you need to get involved and help save our country. And please, like, share, and follow this show. It really helps us get the word out. Thanks again for listening to the show that stands up for the USA.